These scientists had reached the unparalleled conclusion that what had killed one male elephant and five females was one of their own species. They believe one of the oldest tuskers in the sanctuary has become a testosterone-fueled, uncontrollable killer. He's turned this once peaceful place into a danger zone for female elephants. Outside the sanctuary, other scientists think the problem may be bigger than the authorities suspect. Its history of poaching might be having a more damaging impact than they'd imagined. The fact that Periyar has lost almost all its older tuskers means the population has been growing in the absence of large tuskers for several decades. With the absence of controls that uh, the larger bulls impose, these males are likely to be behaving much more abnormally. Ujjay Desai chairs a global network of Asian elephant scientists, and he's one of the most experienced hands-on researchers in India. He agrees most of the deaths resulted from sex-crazed attacks, but not by just one tusker. In a population that has been exposed to such abnormal situations, we really can't be certain that it's just one animal or one tusker. It could be multiple tuskers. Desai thinks this sanctuary is harder hit than others because poaching here was so extreme. When researchers arrived in 1989 to work out how many elephants had survived the poachers, they were astounded by their count. Normally, they'd find one male for every six females. Here, there was just one male for every 120 females making this the most skewed gender balance anywhere in the world. It means this sanctuary has a uniquely distorted nature. We know that poaching has uh, such a serious impact on the elephant social organization. So you would find that, you know, more than one is reacting in the same way as that particular animal. All the older tuskers would likely be affected, not just the alleged culprit. Each could have witnessed and been traumatized by the killing of their parents. Now we realize that not only have we reduced the male-female ratios, but we have basically upset the whole uh, social fabric of the elephant society. Poaching hadn't only impacted those elephants killed at the time. These tuskers had lost their parents and their role models. And there's nothing to stop other elephants from uh, picking up this behavior. So I think the larger lesson here is that our intervention in nature is not limited to the physical damage, but also affects a significant part of the social and behavioral aspects of nature, which we have no clue of right now. So far, this man-made problem has no man-made solution. But from now on, each must season, those tasked to protect the animals will always need to be on alert. Unfortunately, lady killing may be the new normal in Periyar Wildlife Sanctuary. <laughs>